Congratulations. By being here tonight, you're a part of the greatest social and environmental movement that Australia has ever seen. Coal seam gas mining is a massive, radical act of vandalism. The actions we take in the coming months will determine whether our children inherit a rich and beautiful northern rivers or polluted industrialised gas fields. Australians are up against a powerful coalition of multinational mining companies and their political allies. No government has sought a mandate at an election for policies that license the miners to do whatever they want, wherever they want. Nowhere is safe. No one is exempt. The miners believe they have the right to go everywhere. Farmland, forests, suburban, even urban landscapes are threatened. The aquifer fed springs that sustain our waterways and rainforests would be contaminated and depressurised by coal seam gas mining. Landowners face the prospect of a gas company being able to legally force entry onto their properties. They want to build a spider's web of wells, pipes, roads, camps, fences and toxic ponds across the countryside. We would lose our right to the quiet enjoyment of the land and the loss in land values that comes with coal seam gas mining transfers the wealth of rural families to mining companies. The miners are at war with the Australian people. For them, negative impacts are just collateral damage, the price that they are willing to pay to get to the gas. Alienated from Mother Earth, they have no respect for the soil, water and air that support all life. They care nothing for Australia's food security. They think that mineral rights give them the right to destroy the lives of the people who live on the surface. Fair and rational argument has been abandoned. Advertising spin and propaganda are used to confuse and seduce people. They say that coal seam gas operations only occupy 2% of the land area. Have you heard that one? Well, there it is. I've done the calculations. I've measured those wells there and worked out the percentage. That's a 2% footprint. It's like saying to someone, don't worry about the bullet wound in your chest. It's only 0.002% of your skin area. <laughs> they call coal seam gas natural, hoping that this will make you feel warm and fuzzy about it. Yeah, it is natural, uh, but so are arsenic, malaria and death. <laughs> and all of this for no real gain for the community at a time when the world needs to move to a low carbon future. The five year exemption on cold seam gas royalties does not kick in until a well is in full production. And there is a worldwide glut of gas developing. America is now a net exporter of gas. The local companies are in a hurry to get to this gas before the price drops. There is a very real risk that New South Wales taxpayers will get no royalties at all from this. We could get stuck with a massive amount of rusting, leaking, contaminated gas fields and infrastructure. For the victims of coal seam gas mining, the destruction of property, lifestyle and prospects results in widespread distress and mental health problems. Many suffer anxiety, breakdown and depression. Some suicide, some respond with anger, either directed inward as depression or outward as violence. The Northern Rivers is in a lull before the storm. We only have a narrow window of opportunity in which to act. There is no time to lose. We have to learn from Queensland's tragedy. We are still in the earlier exploratory stages of the coal seam gas assault. In the Northern Rivers, they've already drilled dozens of wells and thousands more are planned. Our fate is not yet determined. In all successful campaigns, there has to be a place where the tide turns, where overwhelming forces are resisted. The Northern Rivers is where this has to happen. It comes down to a choice of futures. 
They say you never know what you've got till it's gone. Well, we'd better work out what it is we have and whether it's worth fighting for. Our land really does abound in nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare. We can sustainably grow good, healthy food forever. In coming decades, our clean water and soil are going to be the most precious commodities in the world, bar none. So, what price? What price do we put on clear night skies and clean air? Do we care that living with gas fields means that we always have red sunsets? What will it cost our health to breathe fumes from evaporation ponds and flaring smokestacks? Are we ready to live with constant 24-hour-a-day noise and disturbed sleep? What's the true economic and social value of the Northern Rivers brand? and our reputation as the Rainbow Region, a place of extraordinary natural beauty. Do we want to be known as the Northern Rivers or the Northern Gas Fields? This is about our identity, our heritage, our history, the way that we see ourselves. We should not throw away our global reputation as a World Heritage Area populated by innovative and caring people who want to create a sustainable world. We have so little to gain and so much to lose. I've heard politicians say that coal seam gas revitalises country areas. <laughs> what the hell are they talking about? We don't need gas fields to give new vigour to our lives. Lismore and the Northern Rivers are great places to live, just as they are, thank you very much. Sure, sure, things could always be improved, but there is no way that turning this beautiful region into gas fields would benefit anyone other than a rich and powerful few. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say a few things about the stress of a long campaign. Beware. Once you've gone down the CSG rabbit hole, there's no going back. The deeper you go, the stranger things become. As you wake up to what the coal seam gas mine has planned for our area, you will go through a roller coaster ride of emotions. The world will never look the same again. At first, you will experience shock and disbelief that this could really be happening. It beggars the imagination. Your old assumptions about the political process will be tested as you realise the extent of the corruption. And then you will feel angry, and justifiably so. This is a natural reaction to a real threat. The anger might motivate you to join an anti-gas group or to write submissions and letters to politicians. You will feel driven and may not sleep very well. Hours spent working on your computer, scanning media, counting lock the gate signs along the road <laughs> and dreaming about coal seam gas will wear you down and tire you out. Then you either throw up your hands and fall into despair, or you find a way to recommit yourself to effective action. You establish networks of friends and neighbours who share your love of the land. You support other members of your group. Our unity of purpose gives us strength. The miners want us to burn out. They want us to give up. But this is not going to happen. We will not go away. This is where we live and we are here to stay. Yeah. It's time to focus on victory. As Drew Hutton says, this is a fight that we will win. Each of us can add a straw to the coal seam gas camel's back. No one knows which straw will bring the breakthrough, but it will come. Once you know what coal seam gas is about, there's no need to keep thinking terrible things. By acting together, we will make sure that such things never come to be. I can't picture the miners winning. Do they, do they really think that they will be able to construct pipelines, ponds, roads and thousands of wells across the northern rivers while we stand back and watch? I don't think so. 
The Northern Rivers has a unique contribution to make to the campaign against coal seam gas mining. This is a policy issue. It is not about waiting for some scientific committee or bureaucrat to decide our fate for us. Northern Rivers members of the Lock the Gate Alliance have developed a nationwide, a region-wide coal seam gas policy. We reject the divisive idea that only so-called prime agricultural land should be exempt from coal seam gas mining. We believe that every property, every community and every individual in the Northern Rivers is precious and should not be harmed. Yes. We will not abandon anyone. It doesn't matter if you own a prime piece of river flat, a shack in the hills or no property at all. All of the Northern Rivers and all the people who live here deserve to be protected. A policy for the Northern Rivers is expressed in a pledge. Go to the website www.csgfreenorthernrivers.org. That's csgfreenorthernrivers, all one word, dot org. And make your pledge online. Become involved in taking effective action. If you don't have access to a computer, contact me and I'll give you a, um, I'll give you a printed copy. The pledge goes like this. We people of the Northern Rivers pledge to protect our region from all coal seam gas activity. We reject the radical plan to turn the Northern Rivers into gas fields. The coal seam gas industry cannot coexist with healthy rural communities and landscapes. We support the conservative, responsible option of protecting our people and world heritage natural environments. We insist that the Northern Rivers is declared a coal seam gas free region to protect its unique soil, water and biodiversity and to preserve its status as an important region for food growing. Large companies have power and money to buy influence. Yet history shows that a united people can create a turning point. By adding our signatures here, we commit ourselves to act to stop the Northern Rivers from becoming a gas field. We are from all walks of life and political persuasions united in a fast-growing mass movement. We will not shirk our responsibility to protect the country we love. We insist on justice and fairness. We insist on the precautionary principle to protect our water, our rights and our communities. Our opposition is non-violent, but non-negotiable. Thank you.